Well, I'm just down on the beach checking out the uh, big bit of timber that washed ashore. I'm home again, didn't come from our own. We have railroad tracks that we have that used to uh, haul our family boats in the boathouse. I'm hoping it didn't come from that, but I don't think it did because the old tracks seem to still be in good stead. So, uh, but just having a quick little uh, beach come this morning before I head off to mom's, my mother-in-law's, uh, since she's recovered. We make frequent trips during the week, and today is one of those days. So we're going to head off, and um, I'll take you with me. And again, this will probably be a short video, as part of the reason, um, well, not the reason, but one of my hopes to come back to YouTube is to just try to do it in small little increments, just share the little moments. And as I mentioned, I want this year to be quite a quiet year, just to really introspective and be appreciative of what we have. Uh, but now, for example, right now I'm on the other side of one of the big rocks, which in my last video I showed the little snippet of the storm which was raging over the top of this stone. And this isn't even as big as the spitting rock out there. But if you could see right now, this is above my head, which was underwater. So where I'm standing currently, I would have been under the sea. And this little outcropping in the summer, this is a nice place to sit on low tide. And you can dangle your feet in the water and hunt for shells as you watch the tide roll in. And once the tide reaches a good height, one slips off the rock and slides into the seagrass, which of course, right now the seagrass is... It's funny, it always looks as if some great beast is mown it down, like the way the deer chew down my hostas. But it's just really the tide that's chewed it down. But mussels, hard and sturdy, much like a New Englander, buckles down in the cold of the winter and waits for the warmth of summer to return. Well, I'm going to quickly beachcomb, get my morning walk in, and then I will probably add more to this video when we get to mom's. Off to that. So I'm just taking a little break at my mother-in-law's. I'm out by the uh, the chicken house, which uh, sadly has no chickens now, but I'm hoping this uh, summer to get my mother-in-law some chickens as a reward for her recovering health. But I'm just walking down to the pond along the stone wall by the garage. My sister-in-law had her kayak out earlier today. You can see now with the leaves gone, how open the view is to the pond. Oh, and there's a Christmas tree from a couple of years ago. I think I just scared some ducks. But I just wanted to share a quick little snippet. Again, I think this year what I'm going to do is just have short little vlogs of what I happen to be up to for the day. And today I happen to be at my mother-in-law's. So I thought I'd take you with me. Now we're not down on the ocean, but we are down on the pond upon which she lives. You can see the water's low for this time of the year. 
And there go some people out on a little boat. And I just wanted to thank everyone for all the kind words. And I do apologize for being gone for so long, but the summer was the summer was so dramatic with my mother-in-law's ill health that I just sort of lost track of the time and I shall try not to do that again. But just wanted to share a quick little look-see of the pond. It's a lovely day. It almost feels like spring. And I love the lichens on the old stone wall. Okay. I'm going to go walk to the, uh, the little outbuildings now and have a rummage around for some old pots I was looking for for the garden. Thank you for joining me for a quick little saunter by the old pond in my mother-in-law's garden. Which actually I'll probably share more of this this summer as we start planting up again. It'll be so nice to have her healthy and home. And hopefully the old chicken house will have some lovely new chickens in. Oh, and the red twig dogwood is looking exceptionally lovely. Here, actually, I'm just going to close coming up to... I always love the front of my mother-in-law's chicken house. It's so darling. In the summer, the window boxes are planted up. It has a sweet little brick path to the front door. Isn't it adorable? All right. Well, this is my little snippet of my day sharing with all of you. I hope you enjoyed my tiny little moment of the day. Thank you.